a random part of Christina Guthrie's story 13 months ago. We'll be fine, Christina told Adele as she helped her out of the car. We don't need it. Adele grunted in disapproval, but did little else. She was too sick to put up a fight. They needed the car about as much as the meager amount of antibiotics Christina had just agreed to trade it for. Christina squatted down as she helped her sit down on the curb and pulled the blanket tighter around her. Everything's going to be fine. Here, she said and put one of the newly acquired pills into the palm of her clammy hand. Take this and wait here. I'll be right back. She started to get back up, but Adele grabbed hold of her arm and stopped her. I heard what they asked of you, she said and looked up at her with eyes glazed with fever. Don't do it. Christina averted her eyes as she pulled her arm from her grasp and stood back up. Don't ask me that. It's only three more pills, Chrissy. They won't make a difference. You don't know that, Christina said, while brushing imaginary dust from her coat. A force of habit when uncomfortable. You don't know anything about staph infections. Neither do you, Adele said and released a shallow sigh. It's too late anyway, Chrissy. I'm not going to make it. Shut up! The words escaped her mouth before she could stop them. Would you just shut the fuck up? She regretted them immediately and covered her mouth with her hands. Daddy, I'm sorry. She knelt back down in front of her and cupped her face in her hands. You'll be just fine. I'm not going to let you die. Just... Just take the pill, drink some of your tea, and wait here. I'll sort everything out, don't worry. Too weak to get up after her, Adele had no choice but to stay on the curb with her bottle of tea and whiskey blend and watch as her fiancé walked back to the Coslo brothers. Three days later, they had their last conversation. Please don't go, Christina said. I can't help it, Adele replied. <laughs>